Hello, here we are again with a new video for 3 Marvo. Grab your books, open up on pages 170 and 171 because this is a new item for a Unit 3 Lesson 2 and it's about the future. And it's the future with will or be going to. And I'm going to explain that. So grab your books. Here we go. English uses normally four tenses to talk about the future, four different ones, and we are going to use two of them. So not all four, but two. In Dutch, we often use present simple only. Look, ik ga morgen naar de stad, we zien elkaar vanavond. En dat is allemaal present simple. Ik ga één werkwoord, we zien één werkwoord, present simple. You can't do that, we gaan naar Mars, okay, in the future. So, but not in English, you have to use another tense. So we're going to do two and I will explain them to you. Suppose you have plans or you have the intention to do something in the future. So you have made a decision to do something, then you use be going to. So like the boy, he said, ik ga woordjes leren. Then you can't say I go learn words you have to say i am going to learn words so there he is studying good boy you say we gaan morgen schoenen kopen that is a decision you want to do that then you say we are going to buy shoes tomorrow not we go buy shoes tomorrow we are going to buy and in dutch very often you see ga or gaan or gaat so, try to remember this. Now, immediately you think of something, you make a plan and you say it. So that's what I mean when you speak spontaneously. So you make an instant decision. Then you use will plus verb. Okay, for this one, exterior zone an app. You can't say I sent you an app. You have to say I will send you an app. And I will send, you can shorten that to, I will send you an app. Or, ik zie in de pauze. Ik zie in de pauze, that's what you do in Dutch. Ik zie je. In English you say, I'll see you in break. So, I will see you in break. Again, you can use the short version or write it full. I will see you in break. I'll see you in break. Sometimes with the verb think or hope or possibly or probably, then you also use will plus verb. So, ik denk dat de scholen dicht blijven, is then I think schools will stay closed. I think schools will stay closed. Or, ik hoop dat Man City wint. They have to play. So, ik hoop dat Man City wint. I hope Man City will win. That is what you have to say. Not, I hope Man City wins. You can't do that. I hope Man City will win. Um, sometimes you ask somebody spontaneously. So then we have questions. And then you have to use shall instead of will plus verb. But only with I and you. Okay, pay attention. Zal ik je helpen? So that is a question. You see somebody in the water drowning. So you say... Zal ik je helpen? And then you can't say, will I help you? But you have to say, shall I help you? So this boy shouts, yeah, please get me out of the water. I can't swim. So shall I help you? Somebody says, zullen we naar de meent gaan? You know, you're at school. You've got English. You've got two free periods. One hour. Zullen we naar de meent gaan? Shall we go to the meent? So, because it is we and because it is I, then you have to use shall and not will. In short, here's a boy. He has a plan, made a decision. He's going to study. So, you use be going to. Spontaneously, at spot on, you say something will plus verb. Shall in questions, but only I and we. Well, you, you're, you're confused. Well, we're going to do some exercises to try and see if you know what to do. 
Oh, you've got questions. You've got many questions. Now, wait until this video is finished and I will answer your questions. And you know where to find me if there are more problems. So go to my email, hangout, classroom, magister, wherever. And last but not least, thanks for watching and keep on studying. Bye-bye.